So my name is uh, Hiroshi Yoshioka. Mm -hmm. I am basically a philosopher teaching at uh, aesthetics and art theory at Kyoto University. Uh, but I have been involved sometimes with uh, uh, organizing the exhibitions, not only media, media art exhibitions, but also a kind of general contemporary art and uh, traditional art uh, exhibitions, like uh, uh, the, the biggest one of which is uh, I, what I did in Kyoto in 2003, Kyoto Biennale. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have also been involved sometimes with a publication project, but not in a normal way of publication, but also with um, uh, the special uh, the occasion when I uh, got involved in this uh, chance with uh, work with uh, 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 lo a pe group of local people uh, living in the city of Yamaguchi, for example. And uh, we took uh, the whole year for discussing uh, what kind of book will be uh, we, uh, we are going to publish and uh, things like that. So as a result, I finally published, uh, we finally published uh, a book on Yamaguchi from a totally different view, totally different from the uh, normal uh, 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 books on the, some local city, local culture in, in, in Japan from the, the, from the standpoint of some uh, the major uh, media focusing on tourism or history or some all those things. So uh, my concept is to uh, get involved in uh, this group of local people and, uh, and uh, uh, make them speak, really, you know, directly, and uh, directly to the world. Because uh, I, I, um, uh, I put some English pages included in the book. Uh, it is, I think, quite unusual because uh, many times uh, the local culture is uh, introduced to outside to Japan. Uh, by means of uh, uh, kind of editing and uh, you know organizing the structure uh, only from this uh, uh, the major media, what I, I should say, it's the major magazines and uh, uh, TV, te television, and things like that. So that's a kind of alternative uh, project about uh, making a book with people. Mm -hmm. you know? yes. And do you find similarities in your approach to? making people speak, am I, if I may call it so, yes. to um, maybe tendencies that the internet and the yes. DIY cultures mm -hmm. and, and, and mm -hmm. maybe social networks mm -hmm. might enable a yes. self-narration of your own representation. Right, right, sense. yes. I think the internet is really an amazing uh, structure now we have, so it has uh, uh, worked a very interesting way. But at the same time, I think uh, in the internet is still not uh, uh, accessible for many people who are living in the local cities because uh, they are kind of uh, uh, conditioned uh, through their everyday life, through television and uh, education and family life as well, uh, to assimilate themselves in the way already formatted in the, uh, a kind of uh, uh, limited way to express their culture. So they have their own representations, but it is not easy for them to uh, 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 speak out about it because uh, it is so hard for even for the people in the local cities outside of the Tokyo area to uh, have a uh, distinct image of our themselves, uh, which could be in, uh, different in an interesting way, different from the major uh, representation of the local culture in Japan. Yes. And of course, I'm now interested, how do you see that in uh, relation to the artists, other artists, mm -hmm. especially now that mm -hmm. there's the Western European market mm -hmm. and its modes of representing yes. stars mm -hmm. and artworks. Is the artist more on the researcher's self-representational mm -hmm. side or is there also some kind of socialization process of mm -hmm. the artists themselves mm -hmm. which makes them sort of mm -hmm. repeat cultural structures that are probably not representing their yes. urges, desires, mm -hmm. real cultures? Yeah. I think arts, the, the Japanese arts, uh, not only uh, contemporary art as well as media art and some, well, maybe some uh, uh, artifacts about which we, are, we, we didn't have enough uh, 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 terminology. Uh, uh, we are not still sure uh, to call themselves art or not. Mm -hmm. But uh, all these stuff, that kind of arts, media, and uh, maybe the, some uh, 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 artistic tendency in contemporary society in Japan is thought is is now quite uh, quite well known, famous all over the world. Uh -huh. But still, I think they are very limited part of them 
are actually uh, reported outside Japan because still uh, there are a lot of unknown, very interesting uh, uh, development and understanding about the, the, the issue of art and uh, uh, culture. Uh, we can find in uh, we can find the normal people, not, in, not only in critiques and artists, but in the, uh, the perception of the normal people. Understanding of the normal people have a very strong potential mm -hmm. to create some uh, alternative image of our culture and of our society. So, but it takes time. I mean, this is the point. It takes time. I took uh, the whole year. I uh, commuted to this city of Yamaguchi uh, 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 twice or three times uh, every month and things like that. So it's quite an unusual experience for me and I'm very thank, uh, uh, grateful for the, the, the organization who hosted this project uh, to give me a chance to do the things like this. But, uh, but anyway, it takes time. So in uh, contemporary societies, many people are too fast to do things too fast. And if you have some, uh, if you feature a, a culture of uh, some local city, uh, they have to, normal publishers, I mean, normal publishers have to do it in uh, two weeks, three weeks. But it's not impossible. You, uh, they ended up, uh, they will end up with some kind of stereotypical image of that. And it's a kind of repetition. It's always the same story about a particular uh, a cultural uh, 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 topic, you know. So that's, yeah. But I mean, the strategy, if I read it properly, yes. mm. would then be to use modes of attention and its media and mm. its pre-structuring yes. and use it and feed it with processes of research, of um, other ways of experience and just kind of yes. repeating or quick analyze, etc. Mm. Maybe this symposium could be one, <laughs> yes. although it's only four days, but mm. it's totally different to what we thought before yes. we came. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I appreciate very much for, for organizing this uh, symposium, like the symposium, like this coded cultures. I think it's quite unusual to uh, uh, to invite uh, uh, people from many, many different, well, not only from other cultures, but also from different uh, uh, backgrounds and areas mm -hmm. and different generations as well. You know.